All right, well here at the GWG channel during my off season, it's like uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Instead of chocolate everywhere and candy, we got games. And it just still happens to be the steam, easy for me to say, steam spring sale. <laughs> I eked it out, I made it. And uh, we pulled our trigger on a new game called Fire and Maneuver. We'll be right back. Oh, so during our little gaming binge, uh, we've been playing this one last night. Bad habits, bad habits. The owner and a company called me up the other day, like I said. I, I got about a couple weeks left. I'm going to have to start, start uh, getting into better sleeping habits. But we were up late with our new purchases from the spring steam sale. And we grabbed this one for, I think, under $5. It was so cheap, I had to grab all the downloadable content with it, too. And I do have some weird characters. I don't know who does this, what kind of uh, country this is from, but... Oh, you talking about some <laughs> Kind of creepy. Look at representations of the uh, factions at a time. Now, this is, the game here deals with all kinds of armies worldwide during the late 1800s. So you got the USA and... The fat symbol for the Confederates. Okay. Oh, there we go. So anyway, let's get over here. This is the beginning of the game. So, fire and maneuver. Uh, featured in Steam's spring sale for four dollars. And like I said, I bought I think two or three downloadable contents with it. Now, one of the downloadable contents I bought was. Uh, this is the Confederates in the United States. So if you don't buy the con downloadable content, I'm not sure what factions you get because all these are locked up already. And that's with the purchase of downloads. So I'm not really sure what. Uh, maybe you get these two here. Now these are. Uh, let me click them on there. That'll be the United States of America. And like I said, they're all late 1800 uh, countries and their militaries. And the uh, level of detail that they go into is quite impressive for the price. Now, I'm not sure what the price is when it's not on sale, but if it's on sale, I think it's probably 75% off. And it was $5. It gives you a little view of the country, you know, their economies, and a little quick synopsis here. But uh, these are all the units that are available to you. And like I said, the level of detail is extraordinary for the game. It's almost almost total war -esque. so there you go I don't know if total war -esque would be <laughs> total war like there you go yeah it'd probably be the best there you go all these little spots here because it's just a militia and uh, you can see for yourself let me go all the way through we got us uh, some Regular cavalry, buffalo soldiers, loving it, loving it. And I'm sure they all have their die roll modifiers. Like I said, their advantages, their characteristics. Here you'll see on this one, hover over it, you get all kinds of stuff. So it, uh, the actual gameplay when you play it is more like a tabletop simulator or a tabletop game. So all you tabletop fans really really get into this game. The uh, uh, it's not animated to where the units actually move. You move them. You move the, like the whole tray itself to a certain spot, and then they got a little little bit of an animated combat. But like I said, it's a four dollar game on sale. But for four dollars, it's I'm really impressed with it. I was up all night playing this game. Like I said, I'm getting bad habits. <laughs> Gotta go to my, my off season. We're, we're off during the winter because I'm in construction. We're uh, oh, getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning is going to be the norm here pretty soon. I'm going to have to stop. Until then, we got bad habits. I was up all night last night playing this. Not all night, but for a while. Uh, over here, now I recognize the symbol behind this tiger from uh, the Total War game. Shogun Total War. And if you click on this, it's exactly what it is. I got the Japan 
Ooh, Far East flavor. There you go. I did it upright. I mean, it's a really nice game. The people that go in into detail in these games, it's just amazing. The amount of their lives that they must spend. <laughs> and then they, they sell for four or five bucks. I guess they make a buck, but oh my god. Oh, I really, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the detail. It's, it's fantastic. Let's just go here and click one of these little soldiers here. Over here we got the Japanese architecture. That's soon I recognize all this. Any players of uh, Total War franchises will recognize this as I do. There you go. So I'm not sure how you unlock these fran these uh, factions. I'm thinking it's through conquest because we've already played this once. Let's go over here to the home screen. And you can see all your areas of battle. Now we went over here. You can see here I've already got me some achievements from my early victory and uh, what I did is I went on over here my first game involved I went over to see the US theater the southern sweep will click on that and my first game was the Battle of Shiloh and my first game raw uh, I don't really do tutorials I mean if you know how to play these games you know how to play them so we messed around a little bit we had this little game Battle of Shiloh difficulty level normal and uh, I lost then I gave it another shot, cranked up that difficulty level to max because I thought I was, you know, pretty well had a feel for the game. And sure enough, I eked me out a win. So that unlocked the Battle of Vittsburg, and that's what we're on now. And a little clicking on here, give you a little show how how it goes. A little quick synopsis. And, uh, scenario difficulty, like I said, you crank, you get certain rewards. So we cranked it up. We always crank it up to 750. Hey, you know, give it a game. <laughs> do your best. Yeah, but I, I, it's no problem for me, but you know, hey, I might be. <laughs> what you could, you get. So, here you go. Uh, my little loading up here. Custom AI on the hard mode. Now, I'm just going to be showing you what's going on here, so. Don't. I ain't going to be trying. I'm just going to show you how these move real quick, and then I'll. I'll be back to kick some ass and take names later. Because I think I played this once already. And, uh, our, uh, oh, it was last night. My, my eyes were shutting, so I went ahead and I stopped it. We are it. about to engage the Confederate forces at Vicksburg. This location is an essential point on the... All right, well, here is the little area they give you. And actually, it's just a little table. If you look around, they even let you look around. A little room. Yeah, just like GWG, you got the old fire going on chilly morning. Oh, 20 degrees out this morning, I'm telling you. And, uh, yeah, let's see, let me see it quick here if you can see what's going on. A lot of, I guess there's, there, that's what should represent the smoke. You got a little, yeah, well, I take that blanket, grab that blanket, man. It's a little, a little chilly <laughs> in the morning. 20 degrees out, but it is, you know, it is still March. All right. So we go over here, we're going to auto apply. Confirm. Yes, General. Then you go to the artist's face. And like I said, you just pick up these little stands. Volunteers. It'll, it'll give you little hex. It's all broke down hex wise. And it, it's, it's this here is showing you where they will move. When you hit your orders, confirm orders, that's when you send your little orders out in an envelope and your aide de camps. Volunteers. Well, uh, yeah, see, here you go. All right, you can change also the, uh, you can see here, these old boys are in line. They give you all the little standard controls that you usually get. Um, I can't see this, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. All right, did we get him in there? Yeah, now he's in, and we'll move him on up. Road, big time road bonus. I might even want to stop him there. You see the little wheel there with the green says. You get a big bonus on the road. Let's zoom in on the map here a little bit more. You can get you can, you can, get, you can get real close to these units. All right. Uh, let's see if I can get, maneuver this around for you. Uh, the Guave uniforms. They're out of focus. I can't. There we go. But anyway. And it's a matter of maneuvering this map and holding the phone at the same time, so it's not really 
gonna be that easy. At least if we can. There you go. Let's take a little cruise through the map. Yeah, we're liking this here. This is where I should be. All right, get your. You got it pretty detailed. It ain't that bad at all. I'm, I'm enjoying the heck out of it now. There you go. Yeah, I don't know if it, I got my uh, computer cranks it up to max uh, frames and pixels. So hopefully the phone's doing it justice. Yeah, let's see if we can cruise on up here some more. All right, now we're over here to the Confederates. And above them is a bunch of information. If you hover above it, you get a little box and a trait. So, you know, you could go ahead and play around with all that. Let's see if we can't get us a better shot over here. Let me find this. All right. Yeah, so there you go. I know everybody's being deployed. Like I said, it's just a map on a table. You can come out as far as you need to. The whole room with the table. Or zoom on in here and get a good look at these troops. Oh, come on back here. Come on back here. Come on. Now, one thing about it is, a little complaint is it is a little hard to, even when you get your mouse at the edge. Oh, there you go. But anyway, we're having a great time on our little Ooh, gaming season from December till, oh, I think maybe I could squeak it out till April, so it's coming to an end knowing that as much time as I've had off, I haven't completed a game yet, so life is life. We're having a great time down here on a PC and regular board games, GWG channel, be back.